Hi, I'm David Johnson, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Today, it's commonly believed that the entire universe, anything and everything that exists, is the result of an unfathomably powerful explosion that occurred billions of years ago. Scientists have dubbed it the Big Bang, though recent research has led some to believe there has actually been a series of Big Bangs. A number of years ago, one respected scientific journal attempted to explain what must have occurred as we look further and further toward the instant when the Big Bang occurred. When it finally reached the point of the Great Explosion itself, it simply said, what existed prior to this point is unknown to science and is a matter better suited for philosophers and theologians to debate. We can respect the fact that genuine science recognizes its own limits. By default, science deals only with what can be measured and observed by the physical senses. Anything outside of the physical is outside the reach of true scientific inquiry. The problem arises when people authoritatively declare that there is nothing outside of the physically measurable. There are many, including a number of responsible scientists and educators, who seriously question whether random explosions are capable of producing the incredible complexity of the world in which we live. Some, who may not fully endorse the biblical account of creation by an all-powerful supernatural being, still recognize that the universe we see cannot have come into existence by random, unguided forces. We're not going to resolve those issues in a short podcast episode, but for those who do accept the account of creation given in the Bible, the creation narrative reveals much more than the history of the physical world. While we believe the Bible is true as it was inspired by God, it was never intended to be a science textbook. If you have always read the first chapters of Genesis as an historical account of the creation of our world— Allow me to suggest an additional perspective. Most formal presentations begin with the author or speaker explaining his or her qualifications to cover the subject. Could it be that God, as he begins to reveal his will for mankind, the standards by which he instructs us to live, actually begins by giving us his credentials? Could it be that the creation account is God's way of telling us why we should listen to Him and obey His instructions? If He's the one who made everything, it seems logical that He's the one who knows how everything is supposed to work. From that perspective, the creation narrative does more than reveal how the physical universe came into existence. It reveals the nature and power of the Creator Himself. There are many passages that talk about the one who actually did the creating. And if we put them together and read them carefully, they show us that the Creator revealed in the Hebrew Scriptures is actually the one who is known as Jesus Christ in the New Testament. For example, in John chapter 1 and verse 3, we read, All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Colossians 1 and verse 16, Paul wrote, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. The Old Testament tells us that in the beginning God created, while the New Testament makes it clear that the member of the Godhead that did the actual creating was the one who became Jesus Christ. Genesis 1 verse 26 tells us the two members of the Godhead said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Man was not created to be like the animals. The Creator had something much greater in mind for us when He breathed life into the first human being and placed him in a garden on a unique planet in the midst of a vast universe. We live and breathe for a reason, and you can discover that reason. Would you like to know more? The Life, Hope, and Truth website offers a full-color booklet called God's Purpose for You, Discovering Why You Were Born. Check out the show notes to learn how to download your free copy. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.